Hi, I'm Max, engineer at Thameson, and today we're going to talk about float switches. These products can be bought from Thameson, your online resource and e-commerce shop for all fluid control products. In this video, we'll discuss how float switches work, the different types of float switches, and the electrical connections. Let's get into it. A float switch detects the level of a liquid in a tank or container. It flows on top of the liquid surface and acts as a mechanical switch as the liquid level goes up or down. They control devices like pumps, valves or alarms to notify users. A common application is a water tank. Like in your toilet or rainwater catcher, it uses a float switch to detect the water level. A float switch consists of a hollow floating body and an internal switch, also called a sensor. And the most common internal sensor is a reed switch. This switch works using a magnet. If the magnet is close to the reed, it creates a closed circuit and current can flow. And if the magnet moves away from the reed, the connection is removed and thus no electricity can flow. The float switch itself floats on top of a liquid. As the liquid level goes up or down, it moves vertically with the liquid level. And the switching point is determined by the length of the cable up to the counterweight. It will eventually be more vertical, causing the magnet to fall down with gravity to either come in contact with the reed or switch away from it. Well, there are different types of float switches. They're available with internal counterweights, which float on the liquid. They're also available with an external counterweight. Here the counterweight is mounted at a preset height. And finally, there are also switches without a counterweight. These are then fixed with a cable in the tank or bazaar by means of, for example, tie wraps. Now, depending on the counterweight and the length of the cable, the magnet makes contact with the reed switch or the contact is removed so that the switch opens or closes. This allows an electrical current to flow through the connected device or, on the contrary, disconnect the connection. Typically, the switch is installed in a tank and connected to a pump, so that it is used to stop or start the flow of fluid. They're also available with different types of electrical connection. So you have normally opened and normally closed flow switches, and switches with a changeover contact. With a changeover contact, you can choose whether the switch switches on or off when a contact is formed. This gives you more freedom whether your device should switch on or switch off with a full or empty tank. If you thought this video was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more. And if you have any questions about float switches or any other product, then please contact me or anyone else from Timson.